Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is gonna be my February and March empties. Have very few declutters, but an insane amount of empties. Uh, I wanted to film a February empty, but never got a chance to. So I was like, okay, let's just combine the two of them together. My basket is really overflowing. I have makeup, hair care, skincare. I guess that's all. So if you're curious on what products I finish in February and March and which products I will definitely repurchase, please keep on watching. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rania. I hope you subscribe and now let's get into it. I know the video is gonna be really long. I mean, this is a lot of stuff. It took me about two hours to type it all up, calculate values. Um, there's about, very close to $400 in empties here for the two months. So, um, some products in here are spoilers for some projects. So if you watch any of my project pen videos, there might be some spoilers in here, um, but some stuff is just like everyday use and I just got through them. Let's get into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try to sort the stuff. We'll do makeup first and then we'll do um, skincare and then we'll do hair care. So um, yeah, let me just go ahead and sort through this and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I sorted all of that. I know it's, uh, it's like a madness on my little table over here. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the makeup and then we'll jump into other stuff. Uh, like I said, there's definitely some spoilers for some projects and it is what it is. I did go ahead and finish the AOA Studio, AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder and this was in the shade Brightening. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed this powder. It was a dollar from Shop Miss A. Um, it's something I would consider repurchasing if I placed an order on Shop Miss A, but you have to like place an order for $35 to get free shipping, so 35 items technically so i don't know if i'm gonna pick it up anytime soon but i really enjoyed it um next up is this smashbox photo finish primerizer primer and moisturizer in one this is a very small little guy i loved it i do have um two like a little bit larger size than these that half half an ounce ones i have two of them um really really like this primer it's just for my combo oily skin it works perfectly um even some days that i have like when i do use my retin-a i do get like some dryness stuff like that it moisturizes, but it's not like a thick moisturizer it doesn't break down my foundation or anything like that i love this guy okay some uh, butter london glaze and face glow i really enjoyed it will not repurchase it though i don't need something like that uh, Bosha Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer. Did not like this. I would not recommend it. Uh, MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Love it. And this is so cute. Look how cute and little this guy is. Um, I do have a couple of uh, Jouer Foundation little samples. Um, there's five in here. Five little packets. Um, I combined them all of them together and it was a lot of uses. Um, a little bit goes a very long way with this foundation, but it's not something I'm gonna actually buy the full size of. I think I had close to like 15 uses out of those five packets, probably even more. Definitely got more than three uses per packet on average. Um, but it was, it didn't sit on my skin very well. I kept thinking I really, really like it and I kept using it and using it and using it, but then I was like, no, I really don't like this. Um, I did go ahead and use all five because I opened them. I was trying to get a shade match and I figured just combine them all together. Um, yeah, I will not repurchase, but five. Yeah, it took five of those to realize I don't like it. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. I love this thing. I will definitely buy the large size. I had the shade 3 which was light medium. I could go for maybe the shade 2 but um, winter is at the end so I think I will be getting a little bit of tan. So shade 3 I think will be pretty nice for me. I really really like it. I applied it all over my face before foundation and I was glowing. Um, I did try it on top of foundation, but if you use this guy and then you top it with a powder foundation, like put this on, 
let it sit on the face for like a little while and then I apply powder foundation on top oh it was absolutely stunning um, this little guy is the Peter Thomas Raw 24 karat prism illuminator I think I had to look up the name um, I really liked it but if I had to choose between the two I would go with the Charlotte Tilbury well I'm gonna choose between the two I am gonna pick up this guy I will not buy this guy um, for some reason it's no longer on Ulta or Sephora's website I could only find it at Macy's um, so I, I'm, I'm gonna go with the Charlotte Tilbury one anyways couple more makeup empties I did finish the elf brow pencil mmm not my favorite brow pencil it is kind of thick like um the pencil itself is not a very fine tip so I don't know I guess if you have a lot of spur spot in your brows it would be perfect but for me I just like outline my brows I don't have to fill in too much with a pencil so it was like I really worked on finishing that guy it wasn't like oh it's empty no I really put in the effort to finish it uh Stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliner I, I Pull this guy in. I didn't know that I was so close to finishing it and it was just gone, but it was beautiful. I don't know if Stila still makes these, but it's beautiful. Definitely not a smudge stick. Um, it was waterproof. I put it in my waterline. It was so hard to smudge it in the waterline though. So, but it is gone. Uh, Too Faced Born This Way foundation sheet thing. I only was able to use one of the shades, which was like, I think, light beige, which is the one that really matched me. I have used the full size of this before. I really like it. I am not looking to buy any concealer anytime soon, so it's not on my I have to go out and get it list. Um, here's some products that kind of fall in between makeup and skincare, I guess. Uh, the first one would be the Soei My Collagen Hydrogel Lip Patch. Not gonna buy, it's very gimmicky. Uh, Miniso Soft Cotton Pads 180 Sheets. Those were actually really nice. They were stitched together. Um, like the actual sheet is stitched on the end so they don't like pull apart really easily. I do use them mainly for like my toner or... Um, well, yeah, just for my toners. <laughs> so they were pretty nice. Um, I got through them. This is like a weird store in the mall. I walked in there and everything was like pretty cheap. I think the whole bag was only like five bucks, I think. So they were pretty nice. Um, I did pick up two of them. So I had bought this one and I bought like a charcoal version. So I'm going to work on the charcoal one. I don't know that I'm going to repurchase. Um, this product, it says like Miniso Japan, but they're made in China. Designed by Japan, made in China. Um, honestly, I don't think I'll repurchase. Now let's move on to skincare. Uh, I think that was all that kind of leads into skincare. Um, we do have some declutters, but I'll leave those to the end. I don't have a lot. I only have three items. Uh, Dr. Brand Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. This was in my hashtag Grace Junkie Project Pen, which I have finished um, like a month ahead of schedule. Uh, this guy was nice. I used it. I will not repurchase it though because I do use a regular exfoliator like every single night. I use a Clarisonic, so this is not something I would look, you know, like look into purchasing. Uh, I had. Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream from Sunday Riley. This was really, really nice. And this little guy lasted me for freaking ever. Uh, I used it in the morning only. I didn't use it at night. It was really nice right before makeup because it will just like hydrate the skin. It doesn't leave it greasy. Um, it doesn't leave it tacky or anything like that. So I was able to use this guy and follow it with a primer with no problems. I really enjoyed it, but I looked up the price and I'm not willing to spend that much. Garnier Skin Active Micellar Foaming Gel Cleanser, all-in-one, rinse off, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, not for me. I did use it because I had to travel with it. It was like the smallest one I could take with me on travel. And um, they really strip my skin. Like my skin feels very like that tight feeling when you clean your face, even though it says for sensitive skin. I I didn't like it. I, I would rather get something else, spend a little bit more and get something else. 
Uh, I had the Victoria's Secret Silk Mandarin Santal Fragrance Lotion. Uh, this was also in a project. There's looks like there's a little bit left in here, but I really can't get into it because the way that this the the lid is, like I cannot take off a stopper or anything like that to dig all the way in. Um, I don't think Victoria's Secret still makes this guy, but I was able to finish it. I've had it forever, so I'm glad that is gone. Uh, Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence, uh, and this is the Rose Edition. This is in my Golden Girls Project Pan, which I haven't done an update for in forever, so I'm going to hold on to this bottle until I do that update. I finished it. I really, really like this guy. Um, I think next time I place an order on Yes Style, I'll definitely be picking it up. But until then, I do have some other treatment essence that I really would like to work on, finish up. But this is on my list of like, yes, I will definitely buy this if I'm placing another order. Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen. This is the Helioplex. Uh, SPF 50. I really like this uh, on days where I don't wear makeup or did not wear makeup. I would just put this guy on. It left my skin feeling so nice and hey, protected. Do have quite a bit of uh, skincare this time around. I have a Lavalier Marine Deep Moisturizer. This was like from the mall. It was okay, nothing special. Coraz Black Pine Anti-Aging Firming and Lifting Sleeping Facial. This was really nice. Something I would consider buying. Uh, it Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser. I'm using like a deluxe sample of this guy. It's okay. Um, it's not the cleanser that I'm going to run out and purchase once I run through other cleansers. Um, but it's not as stripping as that Garnier one was. Uh, Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Um... I didn't see anything dramatically different with my skin. I take these with me on travel because I don't want to take like full-size moisturizers. This was okay. Not gonna buy it. Ula Hendrickson um, Banana Bright Eye Cream. This I actually really liked and I might consider buying like um, a full size of this guy. I did really like it. It says it's perfect for like under makeup. Um, I found it to be a little bit too greasy for like to put on and right before makeup. I had to put it on and let it sit, even though I would use like a very small amount. So I don't know about under makeup, but um, it was pretty nice. Left my ear, my eye area very hydrated. I am using another eye product now though, so I don't know. Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim uh, Gold Eye Mask. This was a nice treat. I think I got this in a Sephora play box. I have a little sample from Sephora. This is the Glow Recipe Avocado Sleeping Mask. Um, man, the girl that worked there like packed this guy up all the way to the top. It took me, I think this, this little thing was like 10 uses and I would put it on thick at night. I would put it on my face, on my neck, like my jawline. Um, I really, really liked it. Um, I do have the watermelon, like a full size of the watermelon sleeping mask. So I'm not going to buy this guy yet, but I really enjoyed it. Um, something I might purchase pretty soon. If Sephora ever announces their VIB sale. Um, Sephora sheet mask, pineapple. This was uh, pore perfecting and smoothing. Mm, I don't know if it was pore perfecting or smoothing. Skin, but it was kind of like a nice treat. Skin Iceland Hydro Gel, Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. Again, this is a really nice uh, treat. I put it in the fridge before I put it under my eye and it was just so cooling. It was a really nice sensation. Um, we're gonna continue with skincare, but I guess we're gonna move into like shower gels and stuff like that. Um, Bath and Body Works uh, Ocean Mince Collection. This guy smells amazing. I know it's the mince collection, but both my husband and I used it. Oh, it smells so refreshing. So amazing. Um, I did pick up a couple more of these, so these will be in other empties or we will be using them. Uh, the Body Shop Almond Milk and Honey for Sensitive Dry Skin Calming and Caring Shower Cream. This was really interesting. Um, I did have a Body Shop, um, like one of those, but not exactly like the milk. Not like a, not a cream, but it was a gel. 
that was kind of like foaming and you know like a typical shower gel but this was like cream it did really feel very luxurious on the skin i really enjoyed it but i think these are discontinued now um i can't find it anywhere okay more like skincare kind of stuff um this empty is for my husband this is redken bruise bruise it sounds like i'm saying bruise like a skin bruise but it's b-r-e-w-s bruise hopefully i'm saying it correctly um i bought it for him i don't know if he liked it he used it so dove mint plus care dry spray um it's completely gone i used this myself it was in my husband it smelled very fresh i really liked it got a couple of deodorants actually um secret clinical strength uh clear gel clean lavender um, this was nice i mean this stayed in my travel bag and now i need to pick up another one and then another secret this is the Lux lavender um, this was really nice. I'm completely out of deodorants now, so I really need to go get a new one. Um, we're still kind of like skincare products. So I have two toothpaste, Colgate Optic White Platinum. I love this stuff. I tried going without it. I couldn't, so I went ahead and picked it up again. And hello, hello. <laughs> Fluoride free whitening toothpaste activated charcoal. This guy sucked. I couldn't wait to finish it. It really i like like i want my mouth to feel clean and my teeth to be like all squeaky and all that mm, didn't give me that feeling okay we're kind of still care body care clear care two of these one a month the typical um i do have a perfume empty and this is uh narcissa rodriguez floor musk for her this guy smells really nice and i actually kind of do miss it but not something i'm gonna repurchase this was a gift from my mother-in-law and i think it's more suited for someone her age not for me okay now let's do hair care i can't believe how long it took me to get through this thing this is curl smith food for curls curl quenching conditioning wash this guy has replaced my Diva Curl um, shampoo and conditioner. I purchased a second one of this very shortly after I started using it. So I just opened the second one. But it took me, um, I want to say it took me 10 months to finish this guy though. And I have a lot of hair. This guy is amazing. I would first put it on my scalp, clean my scalp, and then, uh, then I'd spray my hair with a little bit of water just to like get the product to move down to my ends and then like work it into my ends and then I would brush it. Oh my God, this guy is amazing. Um, I have been using the Curlsmith hair products for, I don't know, it's been a while. I really like, a lot of them have replaced my Diva Curl, which I never thought it would be replaced. This guy, I absolutely love. I would highly, highly recommend. And then that's the nice thing. Like you do not need to use this and a conditioner because you can cleanse your scalp with this and then just moisten the hair a little bit just so like the product moves, moves down to the ends and then there's your conditioner. Yeah, I love it. I would really recommend this guy. And then talking about Diva Curl, I couldn't wait to finish this guy. It's actually a little bit left in here, but I just gave up. Um, this is the Ultra Defining Gel. This used to stay in like my travel bag. So I don't know if it's the fact that it's a little bit older, but it's not older than a year and it has like that 12 month shelf life thing on it. Um, I hated it the last time I used it. I felt like my hair was so frizzy. It was just like unmanageable. Yeah. Yeah, I will not repurchase any more of these, sadly. And I'm working on my, well, I actually have two more Diva Curl products that I'm trying to finish up and then I won't buy again. Uh, I have Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. This guy is really, really, really nice, like for a mask. I would use this like the day after I straighten my hair, like when I need to wash my straight hair and get it back to being curly, I would use this guy. It just brings life back to my hair. Um, 
yeah this this little pack is probably like four or five uses really liked it um i do have a couple more of these to go through i bought them i think alta had them at some point were they like 30 percent off or buy two get one free something like that they had a deal on them and i bought a couple um my hair colors the same ones i always use and those are the color brilliance by ion one is in the shade dark brown and one is medium burgundy brown i really like both of like it's the color like my hair my at home hair color so i will definitely repurchase these and i finally finished like the what is this called the developer and this is 20 volume um i finished this guy this a lot of time to finish this I obviously will have to repurchase it and then the last hair hair empty is this Pantene Pro V intense rescue shot mm, I really like those a lot better than something like this and this came in like a Walmart box I think that's what it was and then for my declutters I do not have a lot of declutters surprisingly I mean I do have some products to be decluttered well they're in the chopping block their makeup but I'm not ready to declutter them um, but those I'm definitely going to declutter I have the Victoria's Secret sparkling eyeliner um, and this is the shade white um, this has like big chunks of glitter in it and it just it really is old and no want to put it on my eye although like it says six months for shelf life which is unusual for an eyeliner usually it's at least a year so and then the other declutter is also another eyeliner and this is the Tarte Smolder Eyes Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liners I love those things but this guy dried up on me before I could finish it um, and this was the shade gold or something rose gold yeah it was so beautiful but it's completely dried out I can't use it so I am gonna go ahead and well I have to throw it out so both of these are getting thrown out um, I did go into a phase of like pulling one eyeliner at a time and then trying it and so that's why I was like <laughs> decluttering those and then the last declutter is this touch and glow radiance cream um, instantly illuminates for a luminous complexion it's by I think the company is called dirty works and this is it says like you can wear it alone or under makeup um I don't know I really did not like it under makeup I did the days that I did wear it like without any makeup on top it was illuminating but it wasn't really moisturizing I just actually put it on my hand it feels really nice maybe I don't want to declutter it maybe I want to give it another shot let's do that I think I'm gonna hold on to this I'm gonna give it another shot because it feels really nice I just put it on my hand and it smells really nice too anyways so this is my empties and my declutters for the month of february and march uh if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up i know it was long but it was two months of empties i tried to speed through it um don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye oh make sure to check the description box below i'm keeping a tally of how much i used up every month and what's my total for the year so far for February and March, I am close to $400 in empties. Not quite. Close. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.